Hello and welcome to this uh, review of the article about the first look at the new Dominaria set. Um, I wanted to look at this because there are some interesting parts about this. For example, this first card, Evolved Sleeper, uh, has a really interesting text on it. So a sleeper usually is an agent that is still an agent for a group but is sleeping so right now it doesn't know it's an agent for that group so no one else can know it's an agent for that group either so we see here a man in a chair like a sort of robot like chair uh, that is being operated on and it will be evolved so it goes from a one mana one one to a two two to a three three um, and then it is a Phyrexian Human Cleric, which is really interesting. It does get a Death Touchdown counter as well, also cool. But most importantly, it's a Phyrexian Human Cleric with base power toughness 3-3. So it's a Phyrexian. So there are, have been Phyrexians on Dominaria for a long time. And that's really interesting. And then it becomes a... Um, well, then you can keep growing it by giving it plus one counters. You can keep drawing cards and uh, you keep losing one life so it's like a Phyrexian arena as well after that so that was really interesting to me and prompted me to well look at these things a little bit further we also see that there are at least these uh, three planeswalkers we will see one other planeswalker as well that will be in this set so we have Ajani, Teferi and uh, Jaya all in this set at least uh, then we know that the story will begin August 10th to 18th um, and we know when the card galleries will be complete. So the standard card gallery will be complete August 26th and the uh, commander one will be complete August 22nd. So we will do some reviews on that and then the release um, for these will be September 9th um, and one other thing is that Jumpstart is back and will be released uh, somewhere there as well. These are the boxes. So we see Braids is uh, sort of back and she's evil again, which wasn't canon, I don't believe. Um, but she is now. Uh, Karn will be the main character of the story uh, that we will get. And here you see the other uh, planeswalker, Liliana, that will probably be in the sets as well. And here's the Jumpstart thing. Some cards have been revealed as well. A new Lenoir Elf that still gives you mana. This one costs 2, so it's way worse, worse, but it does also enable you to make 3-3s three out of your lands. Then there are some other cards that, doesn't, that don't really uh, have to do with Dominaria per se. Shiv and Devastator does though. Um, but for example here you have a guy from um, New Capenna. But the Shiv and Devastator also says something new, which is that Shieldred, the black aligned uh, Praetor of the Fractions, will be uh, in the set. Uh, she has been avoiding Shiv to conquer. Uh, one other thing is that she will conquer Dominaria, actually. So she's, the, I think, the first Praetor to actually take over a part of the world. And that is pretty scary that Dominaria will be, uh, will be conquered. There are some other reprints, Spell Pierce, Gilded Goose, sure, and Omnath, which will be, uh, like people have said, will be expensive. We see Karn here, he has been working with some constructs, I believe against the Phyrexians, probably. Um, but there are more allies that are being gathered, so Jaya has been gathering the, uh, the Celtic people. Uh, and Ajani, of course, I think he will gather some people as well, I mean, it's what he does. Uh, we see the negotiator card here as well from Jaya uh, with the uh, Geldens behind her. And we can take a bit of the uh, look at the card itself some more as well. Um, she creates monks, so maybe she will be working with more people than the Celtic people because I don't think there are a lot of monks with them per se, but maybe uh, it's from the, the fire mages there. Uh, she will draw your cards, sure, chaotically. Um, whenever a target creature an opponent control uh, whenever you attack you deal common damage equal to the number of attacking creatures to a creature so saying that the Celtic people all attack and then when enough attack uh, Jaya gets empowered to do a lot of damage 
and her ultimate says whenever you cast a red instant or sorcery you copy it twice and you can choose new targets so very flashy very hard to get there that's what she does then there's another really interesting card i think which is this one because we see jaya and the fairy working together two old planeswalkers that are really strong so if we need them then there's a lot going on um the card's pretty cool too so it's a five mana board wipe that deals five damage to each creature and each planeswalker um, but then you can choose two creatures or planeswalkers to blink them out for two mana each and in the fairy scholar so you can really see that it's jaya doing the firestorm part with the five damage to all the creatures and planeswalkers and the fairy uh saving the creatures and planeswalkers by phasing them out so that's really cool Another thing that we learn is that there will be old boosters from 1994 all the way back from Dominaria as well uh, that will be featuring cards from there. Um, and we see some art from Braids uh, that show that she is working with the Cabal and uh, she is sacrificing them so she's not just a minion anymore. Uh, then there will be some box toppers as well. Ramirez Di Pietro comes back. Um, which is a card that we have gotten in, I think, onsets as well. Um, so that's cool. Uh, Torwaki and J Jasmine haven't really been getting any reprints, I don't think. Uh, but interestingly, Torwaki still does the two damage thing. So that's cool. And Jasmine really works well with her old version as well because she works with creatures with no abilities. Uh, also cool that th they get a lot of shine as well. Um... Then there will be jumpstart ones with five new themes, which is cool. And of course, these lands are really cool. Uh, they show the stained glass thing, which we have seen from before on Dominaria, and people have been really uh, enthusiastic about those. And I really like that they have uh, made it that way. I think people will like that a lot. And we're not done with all the news. These uh, uh, taste articles are uh, often full of new stuff so we know what the new decks will be as well um, we have diada with the red white and black uh, legendary i think deck um, so that will be all about making legendaries and i think uh, recruiting them again or like maybe getting them out of your graveyard or something it seems that way from the art uh, and jared will have a five color deck so that's really cool and that was it for this one. Uh, there will be more presenting la uh, later from Wizards. And uh, thank you for watching.